know what you do all the time, which is you wow people everywhere you go. Yeah. And I'm telling you, every time you and I are together, it's surreal for me because you are such an icon in the oh, city you're very kind. and such an icon in the world of radio and TV personality. So it's always a defining moment for me when I sit with you. Now, what people may or may not know about Sonny is that he is a very good comedian. He does comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So I said on Friday, I said, yeah. well, Sonny. Why don't we take the people on Monday morning? Why don't we open up Club Sunny? Yeah. You guys feel like a little yeah. sunny side up? So why don't we open up Club Sunny and let's go a little sunny side up on a Monday morning. You ready to hear a little comedy sunny. from the one and only Sunny Melendres? Thank you for the now, I know that Eileen is, is, is sitting off to the side. I think Eileen got into Club Sunday for free this morning. Oh, she did? I think she did. She, did. she didn't yeah, have to exactly, pay. Exactly. Because she's one yeah. of us, and so she just yeah. comes in. And it's a two-joke okay. minimum. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Now, how long do I have? Two minutes. You two got two minutes. minutes. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes okay, is okay. That's all we got. Right? How's everybody doing today? Yeah. All right, all right. Now, let me tell you something. I believe that nothing great has ever been done without great enthusiasm. And when I was a little kid, I was very enthused about the fact that I could mimic voices that I heard. Like I'd be in the supermarket and my mom would say, no, no, don't, don't talk like that. Because I'd be talking like the lady that walked just by us and saying, now I told you just one cereal box. You make up your mind which one you want. Otherwise, we're not going to go. So after that, I kept you know, mimicking all these different voices. But my life really changed when all of a sudden one day I was watching the Yogi Bear cartoon. Show. Now, you know Yogi always had that attitude. Yep. Hey, I'm Yogi Bear. Smaller than the average bear. <laughs> and of course, his little friend, what was his friend's name? Boo Boo. Thank you. Yogi, Yogi, we're going to get in trouble with a ranger. Tengo miedo, vato. He was bilingual. Anyway, so one day I'm watching this cartoon show. Mind you, I'm about like 11 years old, and I see this little duck. And he's walking, and he thinks that Yogi's his mother. And he keeps saying, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, would you be my mama? And I thought to myself, wow, how cool to do that voice. So I tried, and after weeks and weeks and a sore throat, finally, out of my mouth came, Excuse me, Mr. Bear, would you be my baba? I don't have a baba. I'm just a poor little ducky. Well, I thought to myself, I've got to go someplace where people can hear me. There's a microphone. When you're 11 years old, you don't really have those chances. So I had an idea. A friend had a car, so I took me to a place called Frontier Burger, which is kind of like Sonic. So I'm walking over to his car. We get in, and I tell him what I'm going to do. And he says, no way. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. So we get in the car. We drive up to the little speaker. You know, they can't see you, but they can hear you. The guy comes on and says, walk to Frontier Burger. Might I take order, please? I said, I would like a cheeseburger. I want to order fries, I want a Dr. Pepper, I want a hot apple pie, and make it snappy, big boy. Well, I could hear, I could hear inside, the guy left his speaker on, he said, hey, check it out, there's a duck in a red car over there. <laughs> so after a long period of time, he comes back on, he says, will there be anything else? I couldn't help it, I rolled the window back down, I said, yes, would you be my baba? <laughs> and that's how I got into show business. There you go. Hey. Two minutes. Let me see. We need a tip jar. Yes. <laughs> so how does it feel when you get up and do that? I mean, because listen, when did you start doing voices? Oh, well, since I was a kid. Since I was, I, I, you know, ever since I but was I mean, a kid. Like, you remember what age you were, Sonny, when you started? Like yeah, I was like about seven or eight. And I don't know, you know, I think that talents come out and you see kids doing different things right. all the time. But, you know, here's the thing. When you're a kid, you don't know what you can't do. That is and, true. And here's the other part of that story. I ended up going to Hollywood, getting into radio. I, yes. And my first job doing cartoons was at the Hanna-Barbera Studios. I worked on the Jetsons cartoon show. Yeah. And so I made it from being that kid watching that black and white TV and Yogi Bear to actually being in the same building, the studio, where the Yogi Bear cartoon show. Because shows. you believed you could. It did. I right? did. There were no limitations. Because I saw it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, have you done in your career, Because I know there's oh, been yeah. many. Yeah. Well, well, one of my favorites was, remember the raid commercials where the bug sees the big yes, raid can? And I he says, Oh, no. That's right. Uh -huh. That was my that voice. That was Sonny. Exactly. Did you yeah. guys know that was Sonny? That's Sonny. We get big guests on the show. Uh, for instance, uh, Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd are uh, 
Eh, what's up, Doc? Have you seen a widow gray rabbit? Yeah, big ears and eyes. Yeah. I ain't seen him. Ain't I a stinker? Oh, I turned out to a pretty tat. <laughs> you bet you saw a pretty tat. The pretty tat was me. That's <laughs> going to oh, what is a great thing to say, uh, Bridget. Hey, Olive, I'm on TV with Bridget Smith. Very good. <laughs>